Is there somebody among your friends or family who is going to have a baby? Or are you going to a baby shower soon? Here's what you could give as a gift. These cute baby booties. They have slightly different trims. This one has pom-poms and this one little flowers. These are easy to make. It's just one flat piece. We first do this bit and then the ribbing. And as you see here, the ribbing has been gathered at both ends, which is what forms the toe bit. On this video, I'm making a size about three months, but I also have a written pattern that has three different sizes. You can see a link to that in the description. I'm working with sports weight yarn and a hook three and a half millimeter. A pair of these little booties only takes about 25 grams or one ounce of yarn. Then you need a little bit of yarn in a different color, like that or that, and a darning needle. In this type of work, gauge is very important. So you might want to do part of what we start with as a sample and measure. 10 centimeters or four inches is six and a half of these here groups of three that we will be having. Let's see how we make it. First, make a slip knot and chain 35. Chain 35. I have 35 here. And then we start half double crochet into the second stitch from the hook. So half double crochet where you pull through all the loops at once, as well as in the next one. Then chain one, and we skip the next stitch, and then have three half double crochets in the three next stitches. So always half a double crochet in the next one. There, and then again chain one and skip one and three half double crochets. And continue like that until you come to the end of the chain. There's that done. And now here, chain three and turn. And now we'll make little loops by jumping into each of these chain spaces we have here. A single crochet in that the chain space. And then chain three. And skip to the next chain space. And a single crochet there. And so on. Until the end of the row. And at the end, you'll have a single crochet at the very end there. Here. And then the next row, chain two and turn and two half double crochets in that the chain space in that the loop we just made. Two in this here first one. Then chain one and three half double crochets in that next one. Three half double crochets here. And then we continue the same chain one and always three half double crochets in each of the chain loops. Like that until the end. Now I have three half double crochets in each of the chain loops and then another row of chain loops. So chain three and this is the same as the second row. So you go into each of those gaps there and always chain three and jump to the next one. So continue like this until you have five rows of these groups of three half double crochets, which means that you will have had four rows of these loops. That's that bit done. And then we continue straight on from this end where we are. Chain one and then a single crochet around that half double crochet there. A single crochet in that space. 
and two single crochets around the next half double crochet and again one in between and two in there and so on until the end that's 13 single crochets on the row and now as we continue the ribbing it's important that you have the same amount of stitches on every row so in the beginning you may even want to count them on every row chain one turn and now single crochets into the back loop of each stitch starting right at the first one single crochet the back loop of each and uh, go on until the end that's that row done and I counted to 13 here and then chain one and turn and again the same and now this row and all the ones after you need to really get into that end and take that stitch there as well so I'll show that once I get there I have 11 now so I need two more first that one and then still the one here that's sort of half hidden so that one as well and now continue the ribbing until you have 15 rows here we are and the way you count these because every second row is on the other side so this here there's one there and then two then four and so on so now I have 15 and at this stage we can use the same yarn for sewing some of it together so take a piece about twice as long as that there and a needle and after you cut it pull it through then we gather up this here where we are where the yarn is and pass a needle through like there's this sort of a ridge here at every second row so pass the needle through here at the end of the rows until you get to the end of that and then pull very tight pull that very tight and hold it there and uh, make a couple of stitches so it stays tight like that and then to keep it strong enough pass through again about the same place there all through them here and secure again with a couple of stitches at the end like that then so this is the end of that uh, ribbed piece and take the other end there too and put them together and sew them you need to stretch them so that they fit together just small stitches like that right across there to that corner there so I have sewn that there and now here there's the other side of that there ribbing that we gathered at the uh, one end so now do the same here at the other end gathering these tops again so across there tighten and come back again there now that's been done at both sides and this is actually now the ankle of the boot and then we need to sew the, the bottom of it so I'll fasten off this here yarn and uh, go and sew it there this side where I'm starting to sew is where we started the crochet so it's uh, easy to sew here by taking the stitches that the chain stitches that we started with so sew that across here and this is actually the side we have been sewing on so need to turn it the other way around now it's starting to shape look like a 
a booty and then one more thing making the trim on this video i'll make these little flowers if you want to have a tiny pom-pom here then you could check out this other video where i'm showing how to use a pom-pom maker for the trim first the flower a slip knot and chain five and make that into a ring and this is a super simple mini flower chain three and a single crochet into that ring and keep that end of the yarn always inside and then again chain three and a single crochet so like this make five times altogether this chain loop of three and two more there's five now and then chain 12 and when you have the 12 take the booty and insert the hook of the start of these here half double crochets and uh, make a single crochet and one in the next one and a third one and then we make a pico chain three and insert the hook at the base of where we started the chains here and here and make a slip stitch like that and then a single crochet in that there's chain space and two here in that next group and then again a pico there and after that continue the same always a single crochet in that there space and two single crochets here and then a pico and continue like that until the end until right round here now i've gone all round and then finish off with the three single crochets there and then do the other flower just the same so first chain 12 and then continue directly to that chaining five and a slip stitch into the fifth and make a round and then make a flower just the same way as at the other end five times loops of chaining three into that there it's hard to get in the inside of it five times and here we are now it's done and then of course make another one just like it and check out also these other videos that are great for a baby present until next time <laughs>